All right, guys. It's been a long time since I've done any Diabolic. Uh, the t-shirts are in. I've only got 20 of them. I spilled a little water on mine, but uh, I only got 20 of them, man. They're actually pretty cool. I like them. Uh, I will not monetize the channel. If you want to show support, you can buy the merch. Link is in the description. Here we go. Diabolic. 12 shots. Let's get right into it, man. <laughs> the day. Yeah. Woke up early on my born day. 28 ain't a blessing though. My bills are stacked up high and my funds are getting low. I'm set to go up to this shithole local bar so I could get some peace. Plus they don't overcharge. Order my first shot sitting there all alone. Some piss warm Cuervo cause I can't afford Patron. They say I cross the line cause I don't need no salt of lime. And I smell the liquor before I take it all the time. Got problems on my mind. Some I can't handle. Time for shot number two. Give me some Jack Daniels. It's how I cope. Pressure hits. I go get a brew. And after two, honestly, I'm in a better mood. Round three, I got that Jameson's Irish whiskey. Then I put it back, and yeah, I'm feeling kind of tipsy. This busted bartender's looking better by the minute. A few man, uh, Diabolic is nice with it, man. Uh, I understand. I understand somebody actually got in trouble for calling Diabolic nice, but. Uh, Diabolic is nice with it, man. Uh, it sounds like he's kind of detailing, um, you know, these these different shots that he's taking at a bar after he's feeling kind of low, you know, down on his luck, doesn't have his, his cash straight, doesn't have his money right. Um, and I like I like too that he sets up the you know Jack Daniels is the is the end of the first line, and then I like that he sets it up with a few previous lines. Um, and it all it's all cohesive too. It makes sense. Um, it's a lot harder to do than people realize. Um, this is a more serious version of Diabolic that I'm seeing. Usually I, it's more like uh, rapid pace, fast lyrics, more energetic beat. This seems like a real, uh, you know, just kind of spilling his heart. So let's keep going. few more and I gotta say I'd slide up in it. So I'm like, yo, come in, miss, be friends with me. This shot's four and five, I double-fisted Hennessy. I should let it be, I'm getting rowdy, popping shit. Time for number six, but wait, yo, I gotta piss. Took a leak, took my seat, now I'm trying to flirt. But the henny's repeating on me every time I burp. Then the bitch told me six, she was buying back. I said, surprise me, big surprise, another shot of yak. I am far too proud to cry and refuse to taste my pride. Every day is the same, so I drink to hide the pain inside. So it comes to pass my time when I break down and say goodbye. I begin to close my eyes, I the yeah. pain inside. Now it's 11 on the dot and I want my seventh shot. Some ice cold Jagermeister would we'll just hit the spot. Threw it down and said, your bartender do a round. I think that was eight, I'm drunk so I'm losing count. Vision kind of spinning but still I want another. Now the bitch looks like Vita and I want a fucker. I called her over but goddamn. Hey man, you get enough alcohol in you, dude. All of a sudden, uh, what's that Kanye line? Uh, Henny makes girls look like Holly Berry to me, man. Um, I mean, I like my whiskey, man. I like getting a nice whiskey and, you know, kind of on a Saturday night in a controlled setting. You know, I don't like to get too wild. Um, I, I used to, when I was a little bit younger, like early twenties, uh, late teens, you know, I, I, I got into some trouble for sure, but, um, yeah, I mean, alcoholism too, man, that's that's a, a whole other thing, you know, you, you could talk about that. I don't know if, you know, I don't know enough about Diabolic, um, you know, like the person behind the art, whether or not he is an alcoholic or, you know, struggles with that. I know I've heard him reference it in a few different songs. Um, but yeah, no, it's a real problem. Um, and it's one of the most easily accessible drugs. Um, and alcohol is a drug, like you drink you do 12 shots and then tell me you're you're not like fucked up it's a drug it it changes the way your brain chemistry works that's usually the definition of a, of a drug I'm not gonna get into it man but uh let's keep rocking here my mouth is slurring so i was like fuck it just bring me out some bourbon took my knife and looked at life in another light mouth was mouth was slurring i said fuck it bring me out some bourbon yeah, man, I like, like I said, I really like the way he sets up these lines. Went from happy to, I'ma start a fucking fight. Thoughts were running like, I hate myself nowadays. I'm really broken, my seat's a thousand miles away. 
baby mama always gotta bring that same drama your bartender bring me back a shot of straight vodka that's number 10 but at this point does it matter i'm uh -oh. half a father half a sucker half a fucking rapper half fast and half the time i'm just a drunken bastard who smokes so many cigarettes i gotta touch your asthma ordered my 11 d and j and with the quickness took it and told the bitch i'll be back in 20 minutes i went outside threw some punches and hit the wall knuckles bleeding screaming till i trip and fall i ain't got shit at all and i don't even love myself fuck it i ain't going back in here's number 12 So the twelfth shot was a you know an actual gunshot. You know that's a that's a clever little put together right there. I am far too proud. Man, I'm just gonna say real quick, uh, cause I've I've met. You know, I mean, I had some problems with drugs uh, and, and alcohol. A little bit was mixed in there, of course. But, man, there was this one guy. Like, some people some people I really believe should either completely stay away from alcohol or do some therapy and get to the root cause of your trauma before you start going down the, the road of drinking to kill your pain, man. Because there was this one guy. Um, he was a neighbor of mine during COVID. And I was like, hey, man, you want to come over? I'm working on, like, this beat or whatever. Um, and I showed it to him and as he was sitting there, he was like, he had a bottle of, of vodka, man. And he was doing shots and shots throughout the song. And like every time it was, we, it was weird, man. Every time the beat got better, man took another shot. And I, I was like, man, he's doing a lot, but I've seen him throw it back. So he'll be all right. But, um, we finish up the beat. We talked for like one minute and I was like, oh, you know, you want to go smoke a cigarette or something. We stand up, man. This dude stands up and falls straight on his fucking face, man. And I, I didn't like, I was like standing a little bit away from him. And I just, at first I didn't know what was happening, but the dude just fell straight on his face and I helped him up, man. I was like, dude, are you all right? And then he kind of went out again. Um, and then I helped him outside, man. We, we got all good and whatnot. I was like, dude, you got to drink some water, man. And like, you know, I'm not one to like tell another man what to do, but like maybe maybe you got to slow down man like this shit is definitely affecting you for sure but um little side story man that was a crazy ass experience uh just seeing a grown man fall on his fucking like he stood up and i don't know what happened like maybe the the blood couldn't get to his brain or something or the oxygen he stood up lights out flat on his face dude he actually fucked up my lamp but you know obviously i was more concerned with the dude you know being all right um, let's keep going, man. Yeah, man, I like that beat with the acoustic, um, and then you have the kind of boom bat drums in there. Um, I like that mix, and it, it does, like, anytime you have the acoustic, it, you gotta have, like, more of a soulful feel to the song, I feel like. I mean, that's my personal opinion, but, um, yeah, man, that's a cool little track, and, uh, once again, you know, I don't know if, I've heard him reference it a lot, so I don't know if, you know, what his, his, uh, alcohol consumption is like, but, uh, either way, man cool track by diabolic and uh you know it does kind of detail some of the um man like sometimes if you're in a bad mood you definitely shouldn't take that first drink get your fucking shit figured out then come like once you're straight and you know you're straight you didn't just shove it down okay like go actually deal with what the fuck the problem is then maybe come back and have a drink before because once you you drink booze it's like throwing gasoline on the fire man like you really can 
I've met some people that they just, they, you can end up in fucking jail, dead, uh, I mean, arrest, you know, DUI, you could kill somebody on the road or some, something, if you just start when you're angry and then you just let it go from there, man, you, you really gotta, it, it's, it's something you gotta be responsible with, man. But uh, I'm going to wrap this one up, man. It's cool to do a Diabolic. It's been a minute. You guys drop uh, in the comments. Let me know what to react to by Diabolic. Good shit, man.